is silly. Which you love about me. That's what you say. Happy anniversary. <laughs> It's like going to the gym. Well, how about you two are thrilled, aren't I, to convert to this place? I can't believe we got married here. Oh, well, it was uh, over there, I believe, with quite a few steps down. Well, it's ridiculously romantic staying here. I completely approve. I mean, married for 50 years. <whistles> Mr. Bellamy mentioned it in the car. Young man. A lady prefers not to be reminded of the passage of time. My apologies, young lady. He's just amazed that you stuck with me for so long. Rain. Our honeymoon. Endless rain. It set a nice mood for the wedding night. Harold Bellamy, for shame. Oh, Esme, it'll do the boy good knowing romance hasn't changed much since our time. Oh, guys these days have no idea what proper romance is. Because no one reads Barbara Cartland anymore. Except me. It's about the only romance I get. Not that I've got the time. Make the time. Find yourself a nice girl to love. Carpe diem. You used to be the same, burying yourself in work. The world could come to an end, but not before Harold Bellamy had finished the Voldman account or whatever campaign needed slaving over. How did I ever get you to notice me? As I recall, Esmeralda Bellamy, nay, Prentice, you cleared my desk with one sweep, then poured a glass of water over my head. Gave me my first heart attack at the tender age of 19. Go, Esmeralda. I tried that once. Carpe diem. This one time, like last decade, I met this wonderful guy, Nate. Oh. We married. Did I tell you that already? We married. It was a beautiful day. Yes. Are we leaving already? Barbara Carland. <laughs> Chap like you. The boys must be queuing up. Well, the boy queues tend to be shockingly short rounded. Isn't that what the internet's for? Take a tip from an old ad man. Put yourself out there. Mrs. Bellamy. Esmeralda. You were just telling us how romantic your wedding day was. Could you tell me what day it is? Uh, Wednesday. Why don't you sit down? Has this happened before? Oh, you always get forgetful and forgetful at our age. She just needs to remember. Harold, a while now. She'll calm down if she has a cup of tea. My aunt either gets like this. It's not just forgetfulness. Get your filthy hands off my husband. Don't touch him. Don't you dare. Esme, please. I want you gone. There's no place here for your kind. You, you, you sodomite, Nancy boy. Esme. Esme. It's me. Harold, we're here for our anniversary. Fifty years. Married? Your memories have been overwhelmed. I'll, uh, I'll make you that cup of tea.
As me? Esmeralda! Hours. You always spend hours on the simplest tasks. I made my own tea. Oh, for heaven's sake, Harold. Sulking in silence any time I make a comment. It truly is maddening. You knocked me unconscious. I've never met anyone so deft at avoiding confrontation. If I, if I upset you, I'm sorry. Please, believe me. Esme, uh, are you... You just seem so lost. I, I was afraid that... That I've gone mad? No! My loving little wife is a senile old biddy that I have to look after for the rest of my days. Nothing is... Cruel as you make it sound. Oh, the truth is cruel, Harold. Especially if you're too craven to confront it. You're afraid I'll be a burden. But then you've always thought I was a burden. No, never. I love you, Esme. Oh, oh, oh. So cruel. Uh, uh. These ropes are... Esme! From the moment I first laid eyes on you, I loved you. And that won't change, Esme. So ephemeral words. <laughs> Did you love him too? All the energy you poured into concealing that deep, dark secret. <sighs> that had better be from Shane. Richard. Or should I use your names for him? The Chadwick account. The Voltman campaign. Or just working late. Oh, this place. This divine place. Such clarity from a moment's confusion. Just one moment. Carpe diem. Richard, Rick, was the first, the only, a mistake made over 45 years ago. And if I'd known that you knew that I'd hurt you this much... With what? More chocolates? A romantic dinner? A serenade? Although you can't sing worth a farthing, so that would only have made things worse. Why do you think I'd never said anything, even when it was over? Maybe I was stupid. Maybe I didn't know better. You still don't. Make no mistake. Harold Bellamy, ace of spies. Women have instincts. We feel when the wool's being pulled over our eyes. It tickles. I saw you. Kissing him. I saw you! I saw. This is where you're going to tell me that it was all just a phase. That his untimely death freed you to love me. You can't understand. Rick and I... <laughs> Never gnawed at you. Betraying someone who did love you and whom you swore, swore you loved. Words. Yes, it did gnaw at me for years. The shame of, of two weeks of discovering who I was, and with Rick, and always loving you. You expect my sympathy for the worries your tawdry affair with the office boy caused you? <laughs> wondering every single day if you were where you said you were, if I wasn't good enough, woman enough, to be driven to thoughts of revenge and be shamed by them. You weren't man enough. At 
least your wreck got what was coming to him. You. My God. You, you can't imagine what I sacrificed for you. Willingly. Lovingly. Fifty years I've loved you. And you never believed it. Oh, oh God. I love you. I do. Oh. Uh-oh.